Hi, I'm Ben from Energy Matters, and welcome to the first instalment of our solar workshop videos. Throughout these presentations, I'll be guiding you through the fundamentals of photovoltaic solar power. In this video, I'll show you the basic function and operation of a solar panel. Here we have a small 40 watt solar panel. Solar panels are used in electrical circuits as a source of energy. They work by converting sunlight to electricity. Some circuits require energy at times when there's no sunlight available, such as at night. In this situation, a battery is used to store and later return the energy to loads required within the circuit. I'll be talking more about batteries later on. A solar panel needs to be placed in the sun using a strong frame. The panel should be orientated toward true north for the best daily output. Elevation is also important in achieving good output. Generally, the angle at which the panel is elevated should be roughly equal to the latitude of your location. For example, 38 degrees from level here in Melbourne. This delivers the best average performance throughout the year. Look out for trees and other obstructions that may shade the panel and thereby reduce the amount of energy generated. Solar panels are generally pre-fitted with cables. Some cables are simply bare wires stripped back ready for connection, like these. While other cables have special plugs fitted, like these. Be aware that there may be voltage present on the wires leading from the solar panel. And although often low in voltage, care should be taken not to touch the cables when live and securely connect the cabling before exposing your solar panel to the sun to reduce this risk. Every solar panel has two outputs, positive and negative. Positive is often identifiable as a plus symbol and negative as a minus symbol. In some cases, the positive cable is red and the negative cable is black. In simple terms, a solar panel will provide electricity to a load or battery connected to the positive and negative wires, as can be indicated by this voltmeter. This electricity can be used to make motors spin, lights shine, batteries charge, and can enable virtually any other load requiring electricity. So now you have a basic understanding of solar panels. Be sure to check out the other videos in the series. And remember, energy matters. See you next time.